What's good, YouTube? Vikasa Kavi here. So, we're diving into the Just Trey album. This is a painter's canvas, is what the album's called. It's got 20 tracks on it. Just Trey sent me the track list, so thank you for that. I appreciate you sending that. I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. So, I'm very excited for this album. A lot of songs to get through. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of awesome bars in this a lot of different energies he told me that it was very diverse with the tracks and everything he said all the tracks were really diverse from each other so i'm really excited to check this out for him i love you guys creek squad thank you for tuning in you guys already know we like diving into some just trey and we like diving into up church and the other artists as well so we're going to see what we get with the opening track of this album. If you're new here, subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down the lyrics. I'm going to try to catch as many as I can. I don't have lyric sheets, so I'm going to catch as many as possible. Pretty much the ones that stand out the most are the ones that I'll acknowledge the most. But I'm going to try to get as many of them as possible for you guys just on first listen sometimes you miss some stuff on the first listen whenever you're not looking at a lyric sheet so i'll do my best for you guys i'm really excited to see what the vibe of this album is like and i'm, I'm interested to see what he has to say he's been dropping deep stuff he's been talking his shit he's done a lot of remixes the catalog is very extensive for Just Straight at this point, so you never really know what to expect when it comes to a track from him. I'm really excited for this. Thank you guys for tuning in. Go get help if you struggle with mental health and addiction. I know how tough it can be as someone who deals with that myself. I went through that. I had to get sober from alcohol. Coming up on almost two years now we got a couple months left to go and it'll be two years in december it'll be two whole years without alcohol i've gone over four years without hard drugs as well so i fully understand how difficult it can be to get through those things and i encourage you to go get help if you need it thank you guys for tuning in we're gonna get into it i'm because of coffee a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is FIFA Fo Farm by Just Stray. Down the castle hall he came, roaring. FIFA <laughs> I like the sampling. <laughs> All right, now everybody gather around. This is the story. Wanna miss Now he was a good old boy But I had a lot of learning to do This is the story Of good old Trey Push out the people in his life Thinking that he couldn't rap Nobody else believed in him Except the mirror to match Reflex Wow he said people are pushing him out or push people out of or push people are pushing him out of their life saying that he can't rap and now the only thing that's matching is the mirror he said his reflection wow hold on we're gonna have to catch it he came in hard with the first bar on the album that's a great bar to start the album <laughs> boy but i had a lot of learning to do this is the story of good old trey out the people in his life thinking that he couldn't rap nobody else believed in him except the mirror to match reflections yeah. reflected what he's doing there's reasons for that because the friends he used to have the image wasn't intact nobody <sighs> wow <sighs> wow that is really deep he just said all of the people that used to be the friends he said their image wasn't intact. That's what he just said right there. Rap. Nobody else believed in him except the mirror to match. Reflections reflected what he's doing. There's reasons for that. Yeah. Because the friends he used to have, the image wasn't intact. Nobody mm. rocking with him because he locked himself inside his room again. Started making music to release the pain that he was in. Words to the Wow, locking himself in his room again to make music and release the pain he's Paper, but ain't no wink to make it permanent. He grabbed the microphone, stood in the mirror for the hell of it. Irrelevant. Mm. He said, did he just say he didn't even have ink for the, for the paper? He just stood in the mirror with a microphone? Is that what he just said there? Hold on, let's bring it back a little bit more. A few more seconds, there we go. 
He locked himself inside his room again Started making music to release the pain that he was in Words to the paper, but ain't no ink to make it permanent He grabbed the yeah. microphone, stood in the mirror for the hell of it Irrelevant, uh, didn't have the Okay, okay, I got it backwards He said he intentionally penned them with ink to make it permanent Yeah, I always wrote my lyrics in pen too And then I started writing so fucking quickly <laughs> That I started typing them <laughs> Because I couldn't keep up. <laughs> my brain would be like four bars ahead of my hand. <laughs> I'd be like, fucking hell. I can't forget any of these. And then I wouldn't. I'd get upset. I'd have to figure them out again. <laughs> yeah, he said, though, he pens it with the ink on purpose to make it permanent. And that's facts right there. I like that. I've always written with pen when I wrote lyrics. It's just a thing I've always done. I relate to that. The paper, but ain't no ink to make it permanent. He grabbed the microphone, stood in the mirror for the hell of it. Irrelevant, didn't have the paper to be relevant. I'm talking about the burst that he used to make a mic out of it. Bobbing back and forth like a his wordplay gets better every album. You can tell the practice of just doing it and releasing so much music and writing so much. He's naturally just starting to get really fucking good at putting words together and matching all of the syllables and even unorthodox pockets like he has back-to-back -back rhymes and then he'll go a little bit and then he'll hit an end rhyme and then he might hit another end rhyme but then he'll switch back into back-to-backs and then flow back into the middle or end rhymes it's really cool the way he switches his flow up on the syllable placement specifically his syllable placement flow is greatly improving with every project that he puts out i love it the paper but ain't no ink to make it permanent he grabbed the microphone stood in the mirror for the hell of it irrelevant didn't have the paper to be relevant i'm talking about the burst that he used to make a mic out of it but mm. he said irrelevant didn't have the paper to be relevant he's talking about the birch wow <laughs> lord have mercy it's so creative, the metaphors, man. It's so creative the way he puts this together. Irrelevant, didn't have the paper to be relevant. I'm talking about the burst that he used to make a mic out of it. Bobbing yeah. back and forth like there's a whole crowd that's in front of him. Imagine what it'd be like on the stage with them rapping it back for Yeah, that's that passion, bro. I feel it. That's my life every day. That's like all I do. <laughs> if you guys want to know what I do in my free time, I imagine being on a stage while listening to music and I practice what I would do if I was. He can relate to that as well. <laughs> yeah, you got to like hone in on that so that like you're mentally like in that zone for when it actually happens inside of your career. Whenever you go play a show or something, you have to prepare yourself like... How am I going to carry myself? How am I going to bob around? How am I going to be energetic while also spitting well? You know, that's stuff you got to practice because it's really easy to run out of breath and like, or be boring. Like it's, you got to entertain people when you get up there, right? That's what he's talking about. I fuck with that. I like that you threw that in there. That was really slick. I like that. Out of it, bobbing back and forth like there's a whole crowd that's in front of him. Imagine what it'd be like on the stage with them rapping it back yeah. from the nosebleeds. Everybody gon' see turn nothing into Ooh. something without friends in his own seat. Don't wow, he said he'll be able to hear him even rapping from the nosebleeds, and they're the ones that's gonna see him turn from nothing into something. Boy, he is talking his shit. He's getting into it. Now, this is going to be a really good album if this is just the opening track, because the opening track is usually docile compared to the rest, right? Which means he's going to be really going in on this. The wordplay on this album is going to be insane. I fuck with the beat. I really like this beat. It's got kind of like a bizarre feel to it. Just Trey will know what I'm talking about when I say that. This has like a bizarre feel to it. I like it. <laughs> Out of it, bobbing back and forth like there's a whole crowd that's in front of him. Imagine what it'd be like on the stage with them rapping it back from the nosebleeds. Everybody gon' see, turn nothing into something without friends in his own seat. Don't believe in him and all they make in fun of his seat. whole dream. That's why they make it. Wow, he said, without friends in that seat. 
He said, because they were the ones that were making fun of me, he just said, Pfft. Yeah. That's relatable. <laughs> With them rapping it back from the nosebleeds Everybody gon' see Turn nothing into something without friends in his own seat Don't believe in him and all They making fun of his whole dream That's why they making fun of him They never had their own dream Wasn't there from the beginning Never seen him <sighs> He said it Oh <laughs> Oh they, they gon' be I don't know who you're talking to But you do And they're gonna be real fucking mad about that one buddy <laughs> He actually fucking said it, bro. That's fucking great. <laughs> he said that they were the ones that were making fun of my dream and trying to undermine me, right? He says, but the only reason that they did that is because they have no dream. <laughs> they don't have one, he said, so they tried to take mine. Bad, man. That shit is terrible. I think it happens to everybody, though. It really does. Artistically, people go through that. You, it's, it's the, the fucking support always will come from the least expected places. That's how I arrived here doing this. <laughs> shout out Just Trey. Shout out Up Church. Shout out Australia. <laughs> Everybody, I love you guys, right? <laughs> you are, was the day from my beginnings, now I see who you are Cutting ties from my better side, leaving me scarred But all the nice. pain that's in my back, I seen away from afar Wasn't there from the beginning, never seen who you are Wasn't there from my beginnings, now I see who you are Cutting ties wow. from my better side, leaving me scarred But all the pain that's in my back, I seen away from afar He never had enough He's talking about how he's just going to leave him scorned with the blades in his back, man. Yeah. You're talking your shit on this one, man. I, I like songs like this that acknowledge that doubt that people had and overcoming it and becoming what you feel your ultimate purpose is. That's exactly what he's talking about. I'm leaving you scored, but all the plates that's in my back are seen away from afar. He never had another route except to be another has been. Job after job, paid on the tables from the back end. Wiping tables, turning riches, ain't the job he's asking. Can never regulate, support his family from his rapping. Broken. Wow. He's talking about having the jobs that he had to have coming from nothing. And how he really would just like all of it to be from rapping. Which is exactly what he's been working towards over the last year. Especially the last year. So many albums, man. So many albums and songs that he's put out. It's been a hell of a year with Just Trey's catalog. We even went through we even went through a period of time where he was dissing Tom McDonald even. <laughs> we even got that. I mean, the amount of stuff that has happened in the last year for him that he's done is profound, man. It's been a hell of a journey to watch. I've been here for the whole thing, and I've really enjoyed it. I've really liked seeing him come into himself more. His, his style has drastically improved. Not that it was ever bad before. It's always been good, even if you go back to his first releases. He's always been good. But what the hell he is up to this year has been amazing. I'm very impressed with the catalog and just the constant improvement. Doubling down on everything that he says in past projects as well, but saying it even more, almost, it's almost more intimately, like, it's more personal, like, songs like this one, very specific people will know that he's talking to them because they're the ones that did that to him. And that's the point of the song. It's like the setting yourself free from that energy, basically by letting them know, Hey, I saw you. I know what you tried to do and I'm here now. So I'm going to let you know. And that's really all it is. And I appreciate when artists do that. And that's 
he's doing his thing on this man <laughs> he shattered dreams through his lyrics in the trash bin walked alone they wrote beat himself up from what just happened don't be another reason people see your weak when asked when is this another phase because the last one didn't happen man he's getting wow. sick of this grab the pen he started with got the paper out the trash and started to write more with it the pieces came together seen the puzzle that he's painting in turned his problems into products now it's all just making sense man He's talking about how he took all the the feelings of like torment and betrayal and just life feeling broken and not what he wanted it to be. And he's saying that he taught himself how to put that down on the paper and turn it into this. That's exactly what he's describing right there. He said it very intricately, though the rhyme scheme on this is insane he's got a lot of back-to-backs he's just firing on all cylinders no breath no breathing this is a no breather right <laughs> i like it just happened don't be another reason people see your weak when asked when is this another wow. phase because the last one didn't happen man he's getting sick of this grab the pen he started with got the paper out the dress and started to write more with it the pieces came together seen the puzzle that he's painting in turned his problems into products now it's all just making sense make it sense and work with it found himself when writing this turned his pain into some lyrics saving up to buy a mic with it didn't care about the work he only cared about the other kids but trey is laughing now because the other kids ain't never been working for their Trey is laughing now, he said. You can fucking say that again. You can triple down on that, my guy. <laughs> we can triple down on that one. Just painted to some lyrics, saving up to buy a mic. Well, didn't care about the work. He only cared about the other kids. But Trey is laughing now because the other kids, they never been working for their dreams. Never lived their life, it seemed. He never had no handouts. Those other kids, they never seen what it's like to be a real motherfucker. He said, y'all can't stand in my boots. <laughs> he said, y'all want to fucking ran with half of that shit that's happened to me. <laughs> that's fucking relatable as hell, man. That's really relatable. I love this song. This is one of the greatest opening songs of an album ever. I love, like I said, it's like... The beat has these bizarre kind of vibes, like D12, bizarre kind of vibes on the beat specifically. His spitting style is really just him. I don't even know what to compare his spitting style to. It's really solely a, a him thing. He has a flow that's just him, man. He, like, has a lot of influence that you can hear of other, like flow styles but the way he puts it together with the word play i've never seen somebody do it like that and it's because of the story he's telling his life story being so unique to him and him actually going into intense detail down to calling out directly people who have doubted him and telling them that they have to look at him now and that they could never stand in his boots they would have retreated from half of the shit that's happened, they'll never know what it's like to be a real motherfucker who never retreats, he said. <sighs> the, the way he strings it along with his wordplay is very unique to him. I have to take this back. This, this was ridiculous. The way he said this. It was all, it's basic, it's kind of respectful in a way. <laughs> I feel like he's going easy. <laughs> I feel like you're still being nice about it. And I like that, though. I am not opposed to it getting meaner as the album goes on. I will say that. But to start out, for starters, on the, the starter track of the album, this is fucking perfect. It sets the tone perfectly for what's going to happen in the rest of the songs. The other kids betray is laughing now because the other kids they never been working for their dreams never lived their life it seemed he never had no handouts those other kids they never seen what it's like to be a real motherfucker with no retreat guess that's how the story goes cut the ties and live your dreams wasn't there for the people yeah. never seen who you are 
wasn't there from my beginnings, now I see who you are Cutting ties from my better side, leaving you scarred But all the blades that's in my back, I seen away from afar Wasn't there from the beginning, never seen who you are Wasn't there from my beginnings, now I see who you are Cutting ties from my better side, leaving you scarred But all the blades that's in my back, I seen away from afar Sampling stuff in songs makes the message of the song so much more impactful. That's why I like to do it as well. And like, when you see what he said there, right? When you hear what he said there, and then you listen to the sampling that he used at the beginning and the end, it tells its own story in just the samples, and he filled in the gaps of his story in that like realm of discussion you guys know what i mean i love the sampling the sampling makes it a lot more deep and meaningful i got you he said i got gotcha. you yeah he says i got gotcha, you man <laughs> love it great opening track I don't know what else to say about that other than, like, I, I really fucking genuinely love it a lot. I think it's a fantastic opening track. I love that he addressed people doubting him. Told you what it took, what he had to do to make this start to happen for himself. How he had to decide to put his effort into it so wholeheartedly. How he had to look in the mirror and really get to know his reflection because everybody else wasn't being there for him they were doubting him putting knives in his back so to speak and he addressed all of that in here and by the end of it we arrived to him saying none of you will ever know what it's like to be the real motherfucker that never retreated and that's talking about how while well, they were doubting him they didn't think that what he was doing was going to work. They didn't think that he was going to succeed at it. People, whenever you have, this is fucking weird. I don't know why it's a thing that people do. But whenever you have like a, a dream that people, they'll dub it like outlandish, so to speak. Right? It's like overboard. It's kind of like grandiose in manner. When it comes to a big dream. Because it seems so impossible to them. If they see you trying to do it. They'll try to make you not do it too. But it's really just because they want you to stay scared with them. Because they're too scared to actually try to do it. They already know that they would fold under the pressure of what happens whenever you. Well what Just Trey does rapping. But <laughs> It's a fucking firestorm inside of it, right? It's like there's a lot of judgment. There's a lot of people that ain't going to vibe with you. And there's a lot of people that are going to vibe with you. You're going to be exposed to a lot of crazy different energies coming from every direction whenever. Especially doing it publicly on the internet like what we have now. With these platforms that we can upload our music on and everything. And anybody can get a hold of it and say whatever the fuck they want to you about it keyboard warriors and all that you'll get some wild shit said to you man it's unbelievable really <laughs> you won't believe some of the stuff that gets said to you he's talking about how none of that deterred him but that's the kind of stuff that those people would basically whine about if it got said to them and they would let it affect the rest of their day or just make them stop trying completely because they don't know how to handle being inside of that level of energy it's a lot of fucking energy like the negative energy that can come in whenever people are trying to pull you down and stuff you gotta really battle with that and you gotta remain positive and fucking continue chasing the dream no matter what anybody says to you you have to deal with that every single day what he's writing in this song right here is his way of dealing with it <laughs> and he's saying 
I'm the one that will actually come out and say all of this shit and tell the reality of what is going on right now. And he's arrived at a point where he can say it extremely confidently and a lot of people are going to hear it now because he's built up a solid fan base and he's built up a loyal following. This is just his way of reminding the people that doubted him that he's definitely fucking here and that they did not stop Trey, right? (laughs) That's what he's saying here. I appreciate this a lot. I can't wait for the rest of the album. Original video for this will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Just Trey. If you're not, go support him. Show love to all the artists we have on the channel. Creek Squad, thank you guys for all of the support. I appreciate you guys. Just Trey, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for sending the song list through. Thank you for taking a few moments to talk with me, to bullshit with me for a few minutes. I appreciate you doing that. It was really nice to hear from you. <laughs> We're going to get out of here. This was a really great opening track. I look forward to the rest of the album. You killed it on this one, Bubba. You did a real good job, brother. So we going to get out of here. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.